Hey everyone, in this video, let's do a comparison of Obsidian with Workflowy. In order to do so, let's start off here at obsidian.md, and this is where you can down Obsidian, and it is available for your different devices. Just cl click on download there, and you can see that we have it for Windows, and we also have it for all our different devices here, iOS, Android, Mac, etc. And let's just take a look at Obsidian itself. So here you go. This is what Obsidian looks like. And what you have here is on your left hand side, you have all of your notes listed. If you want to create a new note, then you can click on that. And then your notes will show up here in the main screen. And you also have helpful tabs at the top so you can keep your notes open and toggle through the ones that you are focusing on. On the left hand side in the menu here, we also have a graph view, which is quite nice. It'll show you all your notes in a visual form like this. We also have the canvas view and with the canvas view here, you can drag in cards so you can lay out your cards that way. It's a good way for brainstorming and seeing things in a visual way. You can even grab your notes from the vault. So if you have a specific note, then you can bring that in there and you we can even bring in media. So if you have photos, uh, not sure about video, but at the very least you can bring your photos in and we just bring that in there. And then we need to uh, bring in our files. So I would assume then that what we need to do is we need to open up our file manager and just drag something in here. Let's go ahead and test that out real quick. Just see if we could find something. There we go. Perfect. So yeah, we could just drag whatever image we want to bring in from our device and bring that in here. So that's really quite nice. As far as the basic setup of Obsidian, it's really straightforward. There's not too many bells and whistles, not too many surprises as far as a note taking app goes. You can download Obsidian on your different devices. However, in order to sync your different devices, you are going to need a subscription. So bear that in mind. Let's just go ahead and head back here really quick. We'll take a look at the pricing. So you have free without limits, but if you want to sync, then you are going to need to pay for uh, that. And they have uh, monthly billing as well. So $5 a month USD in order to be able to sync your notes across devices. Otherwise, each device is going to be uh, specific, have specific notes there uh, locked into it. Let's go ahead and compare this with Workflowy. So if we head over to Workflowy, then we could see with Workflowy, it's a versatile note taking and organizational tool designed to help users manage their task notes and projects efficiently. Let's take a look at Workflowy. If we just open that up, you will see very straightforward, not too many surprises. However, there is a lot more depth to this uh, than might meets the eye. So we've opened up our notes. So in order to do that, if we go here to our three bar menu and hover over that, then you're going to see this option that says new node. We click that and that's going to create a new node or new note. And from there, we can just type and start going with that. Or we can even click our little plus sign here and we can create bullets. And um, if we go to where it says new node, then let me see if I can find that again. Here we go. So we have our little three dots hiding here and we can see that we have a variety of other options that uh, we can take advantage of. And um, we can also share this and bring other people uh, into our project, our notes, whatever we might be working on. Now let's just take a look at uh, the work flowy site and take a closer look at the pricing and let's see here so it doesn't look like there is pricing here on the main page that might be actually back in the app itself but uh, what I discovered from the pricing is that workflowy is essentially free uh, there is a pro version that you can take advantage of, but all of its basic functions are going to be free. And it's also something that can be synced across your devices. So uh, we'll just head back here to the site and let's go to downloads. 
and you can see here that Workflowy is available on all your devices and all you have to do is log in and your notes should be synced across your devices. So that is a, a important thing to point out. If that is something that's important to you and you're not interested in a subscription, then that's something that you might want to take a look at. Here's the pricing here. So yeah, we have our basic, which is free forever and pretty much you have access to all the features. And if you want to go with Workflowy, uh, Workflowy Pro, this is more so for people who might be doing collaborations, but it's not too much, $8.99 a month. You can even start a free trial with that. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the basics here. I just want to go back to this basics page so that you have a better idea of what Workflowy is capable of because it can be deceptively simple. You go in there and you're not necessarily sure, but this is the uh, uh, everything it's capable of, but this is what is really important to kind of point out. You could see here in this um, video that we have uh, uh, essentially like you, hidden f folders within your folders, right? So you can really... Um, create a note and go deep on it. And you can have different subcategories within your notes that really allows you to stack ideas on top of ideas. So that's something that uh, is part of its kind of deeper features. You might look at it and think, oh, this is just very simple, but it's actually quite good if you are working on a master document and then you want that to be broken down into subcategories. That's where Workflowy is something to consider. And um, it really is quite powerful. You can see here on the basics page that it'll give you an idea of everything that it's capable of. And quite honestly, for a free app um, and one that does sync across devices and it is available on pretty much any platform you might be interested in, Workflowy is really quite powerful. So I would personally say that of the two of them, if I was going to pick one to uh, to invest in, Workflowy kind of seems like the one that I would go with. Um, now, that's not to say that Obsidian doesn't have some great features. It certainly does. But just the fact that you do need to pay for that subscription in order to sync across devices is probably a reason that I might not necessarily be interested in it. But that being said, if you want to support a company that you enjoy their product and you're happy to pay that subscription in order to use that service, then by all means. Uh, but it's really nice with Workflowy that you can sync across devices and it is essentially free. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe for more helpful tips.